Hi again and welcome to the Sendfox channel. Today we will talk about your smart campaign settings and how to use them in your email marketing. In order for this to work, you will need to first update your web presence. Let me show you how. Log into your Sendfox account. Go to your settings and click on Web Presence. Your content sources can either be your blog site, your podcast site or your YouTube channel. Enter a valid URL for each of the appropriate content source. Click Add Source each time. Continue to set up your social media accounts in the next section. Save your work. Now you are done with your web presence. Let's head out to your smart campaigns. While logged into your Sendfox account, click on Emails. On the upper right hand of your screen, click on Smart Campaigns. You will be taken to the Smart Campaign Settings page. Here you will see two sections, Weekly Newsletter and Content Updates. Wonder what's the difference? Weekly newsletters are a collection of updates from your content sources. It will have each of the updates from your selected sources. Content updates, on the other hand, are a single content or post included in a campaign. Only new posts will be created here at the time this is set up. If this is set up after a new post has been created, it will not pull that post up. Now let's set up this baby. Here you can always add or remove a content source. Click here to do that. You will be taken to the web presence page again. You will need to enable your weekly newsletter and or your content updates in order for Sendfox to auto-generate them for you. Do that by toggling the switches here. Please note that even though you have enabled these, you will still need to check one or more sources within each section either on the weekly newsletter or content updates. So that even with the switch turned on and if none of the sources are selected, no campaigns will be created for you. Starting with your weekly newsletter, check the tick box for the sources. If you wish to include your social media posts in the newsletter, mark the check boxes. Weekly newsletters can be sent automatically. Select auto schedule and a new set of options will open up. Enter the day of the week and the time of the day you wish to auto send. Then select the lists you want to send it to. Save your changes. Weekly newsletters can also be sent manually. Select Schedule manually and Sendfox will allow you to schedule and send weekly newsletters at your preferred time and date. Save the changes. For this tutorial, let's set it to manual. Under the Content Update section, select the sources you wish Sendfox to create for you. Save the changes. Time to check out your smart campaign. Click on Emails to go back to the Emails dashboard. Click the Refresh button here. You should see an email campaign auto-generated for you. It will be Not Scheduled and labeled as a Smart Campaign. To schedule the Smart Campaign, you will need to open the campaign. Select the list or lists you wish to send it to. Check this icon if you would like to quickly create a new list. Enter the name of the new list here. Add a contact in the list by filling out these fields and click Add Contact. When done, click Create List. You should see this new list in the lists to send this email to. Click the Schedule or Send button. Schedule the sending if you wish to send it at a later date and time. Click Schedule if you are done. You should see the schedule at the bottom of the email editor. To change the schedule, click the Schedule button and make the necessary changes. If you wish to keep it unscheduled, click Reset. Click the Send Now tab and click the Send Now button if you would like to send the campaign immediately. Remember that we have created a smart campaign that is manually scheduled. If this was auto-scheduled, smart campaigns would just appear on your email's dashboard if these were already sent. And that's it. For more information, you can visit our help section here or send us an email at support at sendfox.com. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button to be the first to see our newest videos and tutorials. Hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one.